Hi there, my name is Horvat Elud and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to model a beer bottle inside 3D Studio Max. We're going to take the same approach as we did with the uh, cup tutorial, uh, which means we're going to use a reference image to help us build the main base of the, uh, of the bottle. We're going to use 2D splines to draw the outside of the uh, bottle, half of the outside line, and then we're going to use a tool which will revolve our 2D line in uh, 360 degrees so we basically get a 3D model uh, out of the spline. <coughs> so now um, what we need to do is to take this image into 3ds Max as a background image so that we can easily trace the outside line. So let's jump into 3ds Max now and we're going to do the modeling from the front view apparently so I'm going to uh, just maximize this and I'll press Alt B to bring up my viewport background options and here I'm going to click match bitmap and I'm going to tick display background and lo lock zoom pan so we don't distort our um, background image as we zoom in or out so once we set these up, make sure match bitmap is on, display background and log zoom pan. After this we click on files and we navigate to our um, reference image. You can find a reference image uh, on the internet, it's uh, you know you just type in beer bottle and you will have loads of results. Um, what I recommend when you f look for a reference image or when you have a reference image if your background is um, completely white then I would suggest you go into Photoshop or some other 2D software and uh, change the background color from white to you know pretty much anything uh, a darker color will do just fine because the reason behind this is that um, when we draw out our splines, which you can find inside the create panel, you go to uh, by default you're on geometry. If you click on shapes, then you will get the two uh, D splines you can draw out. So there's line, circle, arc, and we're going to use line in this case. So the problem with the white background is that by default when you when you draw a line, the line becomes selected. And the selected line is always white in 3D, 3ds Max. And if you have a white background, then you, your line pretty much disappears sometimes, so you don't know what you're drawing exactly. Now, you might get the issue where your, uh, when you import your image into 3ds Max, it becomes uh, really pixelated. The quality decreases significantly. And uh, you will wonder, is why why is this uh, occurring? Well, the reason behind this is that if you go here to customize and preferences, you will see the preference settings, and if you go to viewports and click on configure driver, then you will see some quality settings here. If you adjust these settings, then it that will affect the the images you bring into 3ds Max. So my image now is pretty low quality because these numbers are quite low and you know these aren't ticked, enable anti aliased lines in wireframe views, match bitmap size as close as possible. So all these things influence the images brought into 3ds Max. So I'm gonna just increase these to the maximum and click OK. And right now 3ds Max needs to be restarted in order to um, for these changes to take effect. So I'm going to save this um, C now. I'm going to name it Beer Bottle. I'm just going to quickly restart 3D Studio Max. And now these changes um, have taken effect. We just need to load up our scene and the texture will be already the same quality as the one we downloaded from the internet or if you take a taking a picture then it will be the same quality so 
There's our beer bottle, and now you can see that it's much, much. smoother alright so once we adjusted the quality settings um, we can now go ahead and um, start to model so we need to go into the shapes menu here click on line and uh, what we will do as I said we're going to draw half of the bottle like this. We're going to trace the outline of it until the half point and then um, we'll see what we can do from there. I'll start from the top and uh, you know the the cap of the bottle is pretty much covering this upper part but it's usually um, pretty flat so I'll draw some a point here I'll just click out and uh, draw something like that go down and you just start to trace the lines and just uh, if you need to uh, pan the camera you just right click to set the line you were uh, creating to just uh, put it down and then uh, you will build another line where you left off you don't need to worry about these lines not being um, attached because we will attach them later on. We will just now block in the main shape of this bottle and then uh, once that's done we'll go ahead and refine the shape and attach it into one line. So once we have our line I'm going to my selection mode by pressing the letter Q. I'm going to select this line here go to my modify panel and then I'm going to go to attach and uh, once attach is activated now I can click on the lines I want um, attached to my first line so right now I have one big line so I'll just go out from attach mode and uh, if I go to vertex now you can see all the vertices that make up this line the problem now is that this spline, this whole spline is made out of multiple lines. Uh, as you can see we have two vertices here and they are not attached. These are two separate splines. If I click on spline, if I select this upper part you will see that only this upper region goes red. And the same goes for this middle part. Where the red ends, uh, that's the place where you'll have to uh, merge the vertices together. So I'm gonna undo so that I have my vertice back in its original place I'm going to select these two and just click on weld I need to as you see uh, I clicked on weld but it didn't do anything that's because the threshold uh, this value isn't high enough this says that 0 0.1 within 0 0.1 uh, unit range weld every vertices together but these are more than 0 0.1 um, units far from each other so we need to up this value and just click on weld now you will notice these handles appear these green um, vertices with the yellow line before them um, what Max did right now is that it went from a this is called a corner vertice when you don't have any uh, smoothness uh, to it and this is called a bursier vertice where you know you can see that it has a smooth uh, interpolation but we don't need to worry about this right now we just need to merge our vertices weld them so now we have one big spline if you move it you can see that it moves in one piece so what we need to do now is I'm going to press control A to select all of my vertices I want all of them to be in corner mode so what I'm basically doing here is I'm going into the simplest uh, possible uh, I'm trying to get the simplest shape uh, a blocked in shape and then go into that and uh, 